Hi there, I'm just going to talk about the new beta version of Affinity Designer for Windows. What this is, is a graphic design software that's found on the Mac for $50. It's coming to Windows, and it's going to be their competitor of Adobe Illustrator. This is a new document, little dialog box, and what's cool is that you can retrieve your margins from your printer, so if you're doing something inside your house, you'll actually be, be able to design with the printer in mind and you don't have to worry about your uh, little image being cut off which is great if you're doing planner stuff or just a little cute little thing for your scrapbook cool here is the robust shape tool now you have your regular square, your circle, your rounded box but you also have triangle, diamond, trapezoid, polygon, double star, just a whole bunch of shapes. And the cool thing about these shapes is that you can actually alter them using dialog boxes right over here. And also you can even alter them even more by cutting out some stuff for example using highlighting these shapes there's a little cutout tool right there and yeah I remember in Illustrator the first thing they taught you how to do was make a heart using a circle and some points but in this one, it's the heart's there, so you don't even have to do that. Same with the tear. Again, an illustrator would be made by making a circle and pulling on one of the little points. Another cool thing about this is that there is this tool right here called the corner tool, and it actually rounds out your corners so whenever you have like a corner you can just round it out and pull and round it to a diagonal and just make just a really funky funky shape And all your fonts work in this tool. So if you bought some fonts from, let's say you bought some fonts from the Hungry JPEG or uh, Design Cuts or Mighty Deals, they'll work in here. And when you hit control Y, you'll see exactly what the shapes look like. Hitting control Y is basically what it looks like right now. I don't like that it defaults to the gray swatches. Let's see here. To highlight one to change a color. And it defaults to grays. And default to grays. I don't like that about it. I wish it just defaulted to a certain color palette. Like maybe a CMYK color palette or whatever. And okay, so what's really cool is that you can actually export it into an EPS format, which is going to be readable in Illustrator. So we're going to write down the status hello, save. Then we're going to bust open Illustrator right now, and we're going to open up this file, and here it is in Illustrator. What it did was it outlined the text, so if we didn't have, if we actually uh, save this over and gave it to like a print shop, you don't have to worry about outlining your text because it's already going to be outlined when you transport it to EPS. A lot of people don't outline their text which is kind of necessary if you're buying all these fancy fonts because oftentimes these printers they don't own these fonts 
so it's gonna be weird. <laughs> and again, it's all vector. That's cool. What happens is that there are these effects and styles that when you apply them, for example, let's apply this metal and we're going to make this look like onyx. And for this one, we're going to have just regular vector and we're going to copy it over, but we're going to give it an effect. We're going to give it an outer shadow. Okay. Okay, there. Now you can see that shadow, okay? All right. Now we're going to save it as... We're going to export it also as an EPS file. Okay, and it's exporting, and we're going to write this down as Hello Hero 2. All right. Let's see what happens. Okay, it exported the file. Now let's open it in Illustrator. All right, so what changed? Well, I'll tell you what changed. As you can see, the only thing that's vector is the two hellos. Everything else is a raster image. And that's what happens when you make the effects and you export it. So that's something to keep in mind when you're you know, have to send it over to a print shop to do either printing or cutting vinyl is that you're going to be sending them a raster image if you're doing all those fancy effects. Alright? Alright, so that's basically it what I want to talk about this little piece of software. There are some bugs in it right now. I will link to where you can download it for free and try it out. Seems to be pretty cool. I kind of like it. I'm able to do some interesting stuff for my planner. And thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Alright, cool. Later.